ba 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 da ba Chicken Tales! Hello, and welcome to Chicken Tales. I'm so happy you're here with us today. My name is Sarah, and this is episode 15. Today, we have a story from Alessia, and one from William and Maeve, plus a funny joke and a silly activity of the day. So go outside and tell the birds. It's time to listen to some chicken tales. Our first story is called The Warrior Pie Party, and it's by William and Maeve. Once upon a time, there was a little warrior who loved sushi. He was green and fuzzy because he was from the fuzzy forest people in the land Goldland. He had dandelions for eyes, and he was made of grass. His name was Golden Claw. As a child, he had attended Leaf Blower Academy, where they learned how to avoid the dreaded leaf blowers, lawn mowers, weed whackers, and humans. After he left Leaf Blower Academy, he trained with the elite six-pack nature forces. He traveled all over the world, cleaning up national parks and other nature reserves, and also sampling sushi. Golden Claw had a dog named Blob. He had found Blob at the Golden Maple Training Academy for dogs. Blob specialized in karate and also had a podcast called Bark Bark Wolf, which is dog for Let's Talk About Sushi. Recently, Golden Claw and Blob had gotten into watermelon carving contests and were pretty successful. One day he was sitting by the bay, where the watermelons grow, and he used his sword to chop up a watermelon. Bob got so excited that he accidentally knocked Golden Claw into the water. Blob immediately jumped into the bay to rescue him. They floated down, 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 down to the floor of the bay and met a seahorse named Erica. She brought them to her home in the kelp forest and served them underwater pie. Erica introduced them to her friends, and they had a party. All sorts of seahorses came to the party. They were blue and green and red and purple. They played a game called Flower Ball. All the leftover flour that didn't go into the pie crust got shaped into balls and used to tag each other in the game. Golden Claw was still hungry, so he asked for his favorite party food, sushi. Erica seemed kind of offended, so he apologized and ate the pie she offered. Golden Claw and Blob said their goodbyes swam to the surface, and climbed up on a pier. Affected by their time underwater and the new friends they had made, they never ate sushi again. But they still ate pie. Lots and lots of pie. Especially chocolate pie. The end. What a creative story, you guys. Thank you. And if the rest of you go to our Instagram account, at Chicken Tales, you can see a picture of Golden Claw. I really like the idea of a seahorse party. I looked up some facts about seahorses. Did you know that seahorses are able to float up and down by using their swim bladder? Which is a small pocket of air in their bodies that they fill and empty depending on if they want to go up or down. Also, did you know that seahorse dads carry the babies in their bellies, not the mom? Technically, it's in a pouch, but still. When they are born... The baby seahorses link up tails and float together in a big group. And now it's time for joke of the day. How do you stop an astronaut's baby from crying? You rock it! Our second story today is by Alessia, and it's called The Unicorn and the Robot Go West. Once upon a time, A unicorn and a robot set out on an adventure. They had been on adventures before, but this day they were going in a direction they had never been. They were going west. They had gone north before, and they found snow. And they had gone south before, and found the desert. And when they went east, they found the ocean. But this adventure was to the west, and they didn't know what they would find. They packed their backpacks full of sleeping bags, snacks, and books to read. They set out, and the first thing they found was a green cucumber. And then they found a grass pile that had pink lines all around it. 
Then they found a growly monster. They ran so fast away from the growly monster until they came to a mountain. Then the unicorn and the robot found a dark cave. Did they explore the cave? Nope, not this time. They kept going until they found a lovely meadow near a forest and a lake. There was a house there, so they made it their home. And they were so happy. The end. Alessia, what an adventurous story. I love it. The unicorn and the robot found so many interesting things. Did they eat the cucumber or bring it along with them? I want to see a picture of the grass pile with the pink lines. Can you please send it in? I bet everyone would love to see these things too. I'm so glad they found a home. I was a bit scared when they found the monster in the dark cave. Do you think you would have gone in? I normally don't like dark caves, but I do like bats, and I think I would try to be brave so I could go in and see bats hanging upside down. And all the stalactites and stalagmites. Hold on. Maybe I do like caves. Hmm. How do all of you feel about caves? Let me know. Next up, the silly activity of the day. For today's silly activity, I want you to measure some things. If you have a big tree near your home or in your yard, let's measure that. But not in inches or centimeters or feet. Let's measure using other things, like socks. You know how people in this country measure things by feet? You know what goes in socks? Feet. So measure the tree in socks. How many socks around is your big tree? Or how many shoes around is it? Maybe you don't have a big tree. How about a wall in your house? How many mittens is your wall? Or how many big sisters is your wall? Make your big sister or brother lie down on the ground and figure out how many of them it takes from one end of the room to the other. Little brothers and sisters may be easier to convince to do this for you. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for listening. Remember to go check out the picture of Golden Claw on our Instagram, at Chicken Tales. The next time you're playing hide-and-seek with a chicken, ask it to tell you a story. But if it doesn't have one, you can write one yourself and send it in to us at chickentailspod at gmail.com. Okay, friends. Bye-bye. Ba-ba-ba-da-ba. Chicken Tales!